the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a great joy it is for me as your bishop to be with you tonight to celebrate this Chrism Mass, this Mass in which we consecrate the oils that we use for our sacraments, in which we as priests renew our vows, our commitment as priests together. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God, to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. You, yourself, you yourselves shall be named priests of the Lord, ministers of our God you shall be called. I will give them their recompense faithfully, a lasting covenant I will make with them. Their descendants shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord. Lectura del libro del Apocalipsis. Jesús es el testigo fiel, el primer nacido de entre los muertos, el rey de los reyes de la tierra, el que nos ama, el que nos purificó de nuestros pecados por su sangre, haciendo de nosotros un reino de sacerdotes de Dios su Padre. A él la gloria y el poder por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Miren que viene entre las nubes y todos lo verán aún los que lo hirieron y llorarán por su muerte todas las naciones de la tierra. Sí, así será. Yo soy el alfa y la omega, dice el Señor Dios, el que es, el que era y el que ha de venir, el Señor del Universo. Palabra de Dios. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, today, This scripture, scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, the Chrism Mass is an ancient tradition in the Catholic Church when the richness of our differences and our responsibilities and our roles in a diocese, the clergy, priests, deacons, religious women and men, and lay faithful. When we come together in unity around our bishop to affirm what it is we believe in, what it is that we are willing to live and to die for. This occasion, the occasion of the Chrism Mass, has meaning 
for all of us, but especially for those who are ordained priests. Those ordained to the priesthood, please stand. <coughs> beloved sons, beloved brothers, on the anniversary of that day when Christ our Lord conferred his priesthood on his apostles and on us, are you resolved to renew in the presence of me, your bishop, and God's holy people, the promises you once made? Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conformed to him, denying yourselves and confirming those promises about sacred duties toward Christ's church, which, prompted by love of him, you willingly and joyfully pledged on the day of your priestly ordination? Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God, and the Holy Eucharist, and the other liturgical rites, and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the Head and Shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for souls? Are you, my dearest sons and daughters, are you willing to pray for your priests that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ, the high priest, and so that they may lead you to him who is, in the, so who is the source of salvation, we pray, Christ hear us. Christ, 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 and please pray also for me that I may be faithful to the apostolic office entrusted to me in my lowliness that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher and the servant of all, we pray. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ, may the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, and saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Through this memory. The mystery of faith. God of all consolation, you chose and sent your Son to heal the world. 
graciously listen to our prayer of faith. Send the power of your Holy Spirit, the Consoler, into this precious oil, this soothing ointment, this rich gift, this fruit of the earth. Bless this oil and sanctify it for our use. Make this oil a remedy for all who are anointed with it. Heal them in body and soul and in spirit and deliver them in every affliction. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, protector of all who believe in you, bless this oil and give wisdom and strength to all who are anointed with it in preparation for their baptism. Bring them to a deeper understanding of the gospel and help them to accept the challenge of Christian living and lead them to the joy of new birth in the family of your church, through Christ our Lord. Let us pray that God our Father will bless this oil so that all who are anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. Father, we thank you for the gifts you have given us in your love. We thank you for life itself and for the sacraments that strengthen it and give it fuller meaning. In the Old Covenant, you gave your people a glimpse of the power of this holy oil. And when the fullness of time had come, you brought that mystery to perfection in the life of Jesus, your Son. By his suffering, his dying, his rising to new life, he saved the human race. He sent your spirit to fill the church with every gift needed to complete your saving work. From that hour onward, through the sign of holy chrism, you dispense your life and love to men. By anointing them with the Spirit, you strengthen all who have been reborn in baptism. Through that anointing, you transform them into the likeness of Christ, your Son, and give them a share in his priestly, royal, and prophetic work. And so, Father, by the power of your love, make this mixture of oil and perfume a sign and a source of your blessing. Pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit on all our brothers and sisters who will be anointed with it. Let the splendor of holiness shine on the world from every place and thing signed with this oil. Above all, Father, we pray, that through this sign of your anointing you will grant increase to your church until it reaches the eternal glory where you, Father, will be all in all, together with Christ your Son in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Sacrament of Holy Orders the sacrament in which the sacred chrism is used, has three moments. The diaconate, and I'm so pleased to see so many wonderful deacons here tonight. The episcopacy and the priesthood, which is what we come together to celebrate. I ask you, my dear people, to join with me in thanking these, our priests.